We are out early AF in the morning with Joelle back on the channel again to shoot a little short film sequence of her running, taking a big, long, nice, fast run today with the Zion Weeble 2. Let's see how it goes. I'm really excited. Genuinely haven't been outside to shoot in so long. Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a runner anymore. Yeah, she is. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Okay, so for the first shot, we've got the gimbal in sling mode and we're going to do a really slow push in towards the hill and Joelle will walk up and kind of arrive on top of the hill, stop, do some stretches, and that'll be the end of our opening shot. <laughs> So now we just did a slow pull out of Joelle moving into her lunge position. So we've kind of grouped everything together to do all the similar styles of shots at the beginning. Everything we need this lens for and everything that just makes sense to do from the ground and all of our tracking shots we're doing afterwards. So we're kind of shooting out of order, but it makes sense to us and that's why we have a shot list. <laughs> So we're bookending this right off the bat. We're doing the last shot of our short film and Joelle is going to be running, stop here. So I'm going to go from up high and as she bends over, I'll lower the camera and low pull out and run backwards and try not to trip. Let's give it a shot, go, whatever. What's been super handy today is the built-in monitor on the Weeble 2 because sometimes, as you guys know, if you're familiar with using a gimbal, the on-camera monitor can just get in the way when it's sticking out, interfere with the tilt. It's hard to see. And because this is closer to me, every angle I use, I can tilt it and see what I'm shooting. The other benefit is it's built in so I don't have to remember to bring an external monitor. It's not adding any weight. It's about the same size as my camera monitor and it is actually actually really good, I've been noticing today, in sunlight. It's still really visible. I love it. I can't say enough good things about this. So this is just a little bit of extra coverage on Joelle to really get in the zone. So I really just hold on this close up the whole time, but it's really easy with the gimbal because it keeps a nice fluid motion to it and I can kind of shift from side to side and leave some negative space beside her. It's kind of a fun look. The mentality with this is I start in sling mode and I'm kind of following each of Joelle's stretches. So as she picks up her foot, I follow it and stop. Same thing with her arm and I'll call out arm and then I call out other arm. What we're gonna do in post is cut out all of the areas where I'm stopped and holding on her stretch. So it looks like one big fast continuous movement and it implies that she's like ramping up for the run and her energy is getting higher and that kind of thing. It's fun to have movement in those shots rather than just like holding on her stretch, holding on her other stretch. Like we have this gimbal, let's move it and use the smooth movement that we're getting with it, right? So this is one of the last few shots before Joelle actually goes into her run and launches off. I'm just going to pull out with a close up on her back foot. And then again, as she launches, follow her foot forward and she runs out of focus. A little slow, low move. Sling mode is clearly the vibe today. Hey. I'm gonna risk my life and go into the bushes with the fire ants to get this shot. Joelle is going to launch from her lunge in 120 frames per second and just slow-mo 
cut through the wind like the runner she is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hold in the bushes because I don't want to get bitten by fire ants. Here we go. <laughs> This might be a good time to tell everyone at home we're on a private road. <laughs> Please don't try this at home. We are professionals here using a semi-unprofessional way of doing this, but I do not advise you do this yourselves. Oh, come on. We're doing a tracking shot of Joelle from the front of her, from the back of this car. <laughs> I am really loving this extra handle here and holding the bottom because it really helps me keep the whole thing really stable and flexible. Rather than doing this with just like the bottom pole, I wouldn't really love. It's a little less sturdy, but this is my favorite position of the day. So we're here now. This is our fancy way of getting a bird's eye view of Joelle running. We're gonna give it a go. Very safely, very slowly. And Josh will spot me. Here we go. <laughs> Well, I definitely need a good stretch after that, especially Joelle, yeah. yeah, from all that running. <laughs> this was super easy to use. I really loved the Weevil 2. It was lightweight, it was intuitive. The battery lasted our entire shoot. I think we started around 6 a.m. It's now nine, and I think there's about 10% left. Overall, I'm really happy with today's shoot. And you guys will see the magic of editing, in which case this will all be done, and you can now screen the finished sequence. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you, Zion, for sponsoring the video. Thanks, Joelle, for helping us out. Our beautiful driver, Brittany, and Josh behind the camera. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos, and I will see you in the next one.